guys, it's Royer from Royer Coach Wild and EpicDroid.com, and I am here today with a super quick video on the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a real Note 20 here. This is what they call a dummy device. They send them to case manufacturers and such so they can get those cases ready to ship before the device does. So no, it is not a real device, but for all intents and purposes, it is the Note 20. It just doesn't power on. The good news is, is that even though I wasn't able to get a real Note 20, I was able to get the real Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro. This case is by far one of the best cases I have ever used for any device. It is one of the most, if not the most, protective cases I have ever used. It's a super affordable case and it goes for about $20. The case comes in a wide variety of colors, it comes with a holster if you guys want one. You can use that to hook your phone in. Whoops. Just take your phone and pop it in like that and then you have a nice easy way to hook that onto your belt or to your backpack or wherever you want and you can hook that on. But as I said just a few seconds ago, the case is insanely protective. It is a multi-layer case. It comes with two main pieces here. The first one is this hard plastic shell that goes into the front of the case and it goes on the front of your device. You use this plastic shell, you put your device in it like this and it holds it in there and then you put it in the case. And when you put it in the case, you want to make sure that you're going to put it in with the bottom first. You're going to pop it in around the corners all the way around. Push it on. And then presto, you're good to go and your device is insanely protected. Now there's a couple of standout features about this case. The first thing that you'll notice is that there is a raised lip here across the top and the bottom of the device. What that does is it allows you to set that device face down without having to worry about your screen getting scratched up. Now one thing I do want to point out is that none of these cases come with a screen protector. That is by design. With Samsung, they use a ultrasonic fingerprint sensor that doesn't work well with the built-in screen protectors that often come on these types of cases. So no, it does not have a built-in screen protector that is by design, and it is in your own best interest that it does not have that. So as far as the rest of the case goes, there are a couple of other things. We do here have this textured grip on the side that does go on both sides there. It allows you to hold the phone very comfortably. It allows you to grip it. It makes it so that if you're holding it, it's not going to be going anywhere. And then here on these corners, we do have these extra thick bumpers. Those do provide a lot of impact protection. If they're going to be hitting on the corner of the device, they're going to be hitting that thick rubber piece. They're going to be hitting a pocket of air. Then they're going to be hitting that hard plastic and then they'll finally be hitting your device. It makes it so your device will have a lot less chance of getting damaged. Also here on the back, we do have some raised feet here. They're very slight. You can't see them very well, but if you look closely, you can see that there is a raised foot here in each of these corners. And what those do is they make it so you can set that down on the back without having to worry about the back of the case getting scratched up. So not only does it keep the front of the device looking good, but it also keeps the back looking good as well. Here on the back, we do have that kickstand. You can pop that out. You can then use your device in a portrait or in a landscape mode. And then when you're done with it, you just pop that back down in and you're good. And then on the back, we also have this extra large cutout here for the flash of the camera and the other sensors. As you can see there, it's nice and deep, but it goes in at a nice little incline there so that it's not going to be getting in the way of your pictures. Here on the top, we do have a cutout for your noise canceling mic. And then on the bottom, we do have cutouts for your S Pen for your USB-C charging port. Then you also have a cutout for your microphone as well as your speaker. This cutout here for the USB-C charging port, it does add additional dust and water resistance to your device. And when you use this with wireless charging, you're gonna find that you never ever have to open that. Now, one thing I neglected to mention earlier is the buttons. Here you have your power button. It does have some texture to it so you can identify it easily. And then you have your volume down and your volume up buttons. As you can see there, I can't really test them because the device doesn't turn on. However, having used this case on several other devices in the past, I have never had any issues with that. So all in all, it is a super good case. I highly recommend it. If you have a tendency to drop your device or if you need a little bit of extra protection, this is the case to go with. It will protect your device and it will do it for the super low price of about $20. It comes a wide variety of colors. My personal favorite is probably this red, but I also really like that blue. But you can pick whatever color looks best to you. If you guys have any questions about the Unicorn Beetle Pro or about any of Subcase's other products or about the Galaxy Note 20, please feel free to hit us up in the comment section and we'll reply as soon as we are available. If you've enjoyed this video and if you want to see more like it, please remember to give us a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. And as always, just want to tell you guys thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, and you all have an awesome day.